Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and I am going to walk you through how to get an Evo SSD running on a MacBook. First of all, there's a lot of steps that need to be taken to get where we're at right now. I'm using an Evo or a 960 Evo. These run hot, but they're uh, the fastest ones you can get. If you get other SSDs, they might run a little slow. Uh, you need this adapter, links in the description. You got to get the right one. We're replacing the extremely expensive uh, PCIe Mac SSD, right? So adapter goes in first. Then the SSD goes in and we screw it all down. All done and said, it looks a little something like this, okay? It lines up perfectly with the hole. Everything's good. Now comes the extremely fun part. This Mac is a 2014 or 2015 MacBook Pro. It's running Intel. First, you need to get Linux bootable on a USB. Um, this is Ubuntu. This is a fairly simple thing to pull off. If you're trying to pull this off, getting a bootable Linux USB should be nothing for you. I'll give you links in the description. We're gonna boot and hold the option button as the computer is booting. As you can see, it brings us to a page and we see EFI boot. I'm gonna press the little arrow and we're going to boot into Lanax. See that? Install. It just automatically ran a test version of Linux. And as you can see, it automatically boots the test or the live session of Ubuntu here. So we're gonna let it load, oh, what do you know? And then we're gonna load into the terminal and click a few things. So to get the terminal, click so it show all applications, then we want terminal. I'm gonna have to type it up here. There it is. And now we're gonna type a bunch of commands. Now you might be wondering why are we here? Because we are initializing the SSD. If we don't initialize it, it doesn't show up anywhere to install an OS on. So we want um, to type a few commands. L S B L K. Right? Now this hardware does see the drive. Would you look at that? Right? It reads it as NVME 0 N1. Now you need to use the command F disk dev nvme 0 n 1 okay welcome to fdisk utility permission denied now we gotta run sudo sudo okay Changes remain in memory only until you write them. All right, so now we're in FDisk. We need to figure stuff out. So now we gotta type out a bunch of stuff. So, N, enter, okay, P, primary, enter, one, partition number, one, enter, okay. First sector, blah, 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 enter, blah, blah, blah. Enter the partition bit and then hit W. So we can reread the partition table by hitting up. Would you look at that? We now have a partition right there. So now you can turn off the Mac and pull out your Linux USB because we're going to now put in your High Sierra or other Mac OS depending on what date this is for you. So let's figure out how to make a USB bootable. Mac. From Windows. So you gotta get your hands on a DMG or an ISO. I torrented the ISO, um, which I then use TransMac to blow onto the USB. Links for these in description. Uh, if you get a DMG, uh, you can use this program called Etcher, uh, but you need a bootable DMG, all right? So, yeah. This one will check and tell you if it's going to work or not before you blow it onto the USB key, but it needs to be a bootable DMG. This needs to be a bootable ISO. Uh, in both cases, I would format the USB key using Minitool, which I can put in the description, to a GP, GDP, GPD, I don't know, the, the, not MBR, the other one, I can't think of it off the top of my head, uh, partition table. All right. All right, ladies and that one guy, this is what we're going to do. We're going to disk utility. We booted to Sierra, disk utility, continue, high Sierra. 
excuse me, boot it to High Sierra internal. Oh my god. So in order to get this to work, we gotta go to View, Show All Devices. All right, we gotta click on the drive, and then you gotta go to Erase, and then you go from Master Boot Record to GUI Partition Table. G U I D Mac. SSD. Erase. Here it goes. We're good. Now let's try and install. So we go exit utility. Then we're going to go to install Mac OS. Hi Sierra. I agree. <gasps> no. Install. All right, this can take forever. I'm gonna come back, but stick around because there's other things you have to do after this in order to make it work just perfect. All right, folks, we made it. Um, this is inside the OS with the NVMe drive. So let's go up to information. Where are you? System preferences about this Mac. Okay, and now we can go to NVMe PCI Express, Samsung Evo 960, congratulations people, you did it. Now, there's no hibernation right now, if you go to hibernate it's going to do some weird stuff, so we've got to do yet more terminal action. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to terminal, so we're going to do a little something something to fix hibernation mode. Um, oh, that's shift. I didn't hit enter. <laughs> so, uh, power off delay 28800. Uh, we're going to type in this right now. sudo pm set hibernation or hibernate. mode, set to 25, okay, we're going to hit enter, password, there it is, now, it won't crash when it comes back from hibernation mode, congratulations, you've got a working Mac, so let me tell you about the little secret that nobody's talking about on how to get this thing to work, everybody who's got the problem, that uh, says that they can't get an NVMe to run in a MacBook. Um, yeah, they're just not doing it right because it'll run. Uh, this is a 2015 13-inch MacBook Air, and uh, it wouldn't run an NVMe at all. So I used High Sierra, would show up in High Sierra, uh, would start installing, and then on reboot, it would um, just it wouldn't work because there was no drivers. So this is the an original Mac hard drive, which I had to buy separately. So the trick to getting an NVMe SSD to run on a MacBook is to first install High Sierra or one of the newer OSs, the highest OS you can get on the original SSD. If you can't get an original, or you don't have the original SSD, you're going to have to buy one, but you have to do it because as it installs those new operating systems, it will flash the firmware on the board and the flashed board firmware will um, run the NVMe SSDs. So I have successfully inst I installed to this, then I uh, did an update and then installed to this. You do need an adapter for this one and there's quite a few different um, SSDs for Mac, so make sure you get your adapters correct. Uh, they go up based on pin counts. This is a 12, 16 pin SSD. Um, this runs relatively the same speed as this, but it's substantially cheaper. This is like, this is 240 gigs, this is 120, and this 240 gig I believe is $50 or $40, and this was about a dollar a gig, which is outrageous. So get yourself an adapter which is going to be different depending on what model you have. Get yourself an SSD and make sure you have the original Mac 
SSD. And that's it. Install on this, then install on this. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, hit the channel. See you next time. Ciao.